what kind of fossils do we tend to find of sharks? So actually one of the most common fossils that you can find is actually of sharks teeth and that's because they've got an awful lot of teeth. So um, over the course of a lifetime um, a shark can produce between 20,000 and 40,000 teeth. So what we've got here is about 30,000 sharks teeth and that's because wow. sharks have got this sort of conveyor belt system of teeth. So as one tooth falls out the front there's another tooth behind it ready to replace it. So if you're one shark producing on average about 30,000 teeth, the chances are a few of them will become fossils. Mm -hmm. So shark's teeth, very, very common. And um, what's not so common about sharks is actually their soft tissue. So shark skeleton is made from cartilage rather than bone. And because that's much softer, it doesn't tend to fossilize very well. But if we get the right chem um, sorry, chemical soup, the right sort of conditions, mm -hmm. we get, can get that soft tissue preserved. So this is actually um, vertebrate from a, sh um, fifth, a shark that's about 50 million years old. So this is basically the spine of this shark. So these are all the individual vertebrae um, running up. So this is quite rare and quite special. Um, and other parts about sharks, so we can find their dermal denticles. So basically uh, their scales, the skin from the shark. And also we can find even fossilised poo called a okay. coprolite. <laughs> so coprolite, to give it the proper name. Uh -huh. um, and coprolite, I find wow. are really fascinating because this is from a 50 million year old shark. But what's really cool about them is that we can often look inside them and we can actually find scales and bones and even little teeth. So we can work out what these ancient sharks were feeding on 50 million years ago. 